We talk to a lot of businesses around the whole area of finance and it's probably one of the key concerns for, for growing companies. So whether it's finance to help you grow or, or from a cash flow point of view, a working capital point of view. Getting a really close relationship with your bank, providing them with regular information such as management accounts or monthly management information is a really good starting place to help them understand the business and help them and see what they can actually do to help support you. If that doesn't work and banks can't fund every single type of business because they're just not set out to do that and there's lots of different types of alternative funding providers who can now support different types of businesses. People have heard a lot about equity uh, crowdfunding which can be a good source of finance for early stage businesses for, for attracting um, equity. There are private equity and venture capitalists who will be interested in, in picking up um, tech businesses, it, it's, it's particularly well known, but they'll be looking for businesses that have reached a certain level of growth typically. The whole process of going through a funding round can be particularly stressful um, and I think business owners can take their take their foot off the off the pedal in terms of running the actual business and can see it, see their companies become um, out of control and because they've spent so much of their time focusing on on trying to get investment. And one of the things we do is preparing businesses way before they're even looking at attracting investment so that they're really well prepared when that opportunity comes. So that's helping them to put in place really good management controls and systems so that the business is running really well, has all the information they need so that when that opportunity comes they can provide information really easily and it, it just provides investors with that sort of comfort. It's tough, uh, really tough raising, raising money uh, and you just have to stick at it and it's a, it's a numbers game, it's a sales process and you're going through and you're convincing individual people to give their personal money typically in the early stages and put it into a business and it helps if you have uh, a degree of personal reputation and you're able to call on your network from LinkedIn and so on, you know some people and so on, that really helps. Uh, I think you know, it's really difficult for people who are, who've got a great idea and new into the business world and don't have those sort of connections. Um, that's real, a real challenge. But if your idea is good, your, your pitch is good and, and you can find people that believe in you, then it snowballs and eventually you will collect what you need. So through our corporate finance team, we have really good contacts with um, all types of investors, um, whether it's private equity or, or, or venture capitalists. Um, going through that sort of funding um, transaction can be particularly stressful. So having an advisor who can be there, um, whether it's right in the middle of things to help negotiate the deal and help get, get business owners a better deal, or whether it's just being there behind the scenes, helping them provide support, we can, we can be there.